I know that I broke up with him. I get it. I really do. But he didn't even fight for me. Yeah, it's been two days. He didn't even call me. The mind of a woman is such an interesting place. She <laughs> dumps him, but in her mind, she's the victim. Even though she ended things, he has no right to move on. How dare he not call me? It's been two days. In the minds of these women, men are not really meant to exist as independent entities. They only exist as an extension in relation to the women. Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Christine Grace and today is another reaction video. Today I am reacting again to Alexander Grace. I'm a big fan of Alexander Grace. Um, you guys should definitely go check out his YouTube channel. And yeah, today we are looking at a video where a woman has some kind of epiphany. Um, yeah, let's check it out together. I don't like finding out that a guy doesn't like me anymore. That he's like over me. What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean you're over me? Like you've moved on. That's not how this works. That's not how this works, okay? I was supposed to go my whole life knowing in the back of my mind that you still like me, okay? I was supposed to think that every time I saw you, your heart did a little pitter patter, okay? Now you've moved on. What does that mean? That's, that's not possible. I don't understand. Totally incomprehensible. <laughs> I'm a woman. You are a man. You are an extension of me. It's like a brain breaks when she discovers that he has an existence independent of her. She's got main character syndrome and she's furious that the network has given him a spin-off. That wasn't the deal. <laughs> Even though they're no longer together, he was meant to live the rest of his life pining after her, thinking about her, heartbroken, desperate to get back together. Jokes aside, it actually reveals a very dark sexism that exists inside the women of men that really have a difficult time comprehending that men have thoughts, feelings, aspirations and goals that exist as a sovereign part of himself, that he's not just some empty entity that exists to serve her needs. Y'all, men are trash. I literally just found out that this guy I hooked up with like a few times many years ago is now in a relationship. <laughs> like, I'm going to message his girl. Yeah, you hooked up a few times like years ago. Now he's moved on. He's in a relationship. This is surprising to you. Why? Why does this make him trash? You feel morally compelled to reach out to his new girlfriend and... To say what, exactly? Good men don't just lie dormant waiting for you to come along and activate them. Believe it or not, high quality men actually have aspirations beyond just being your backup guy. But if a woman is self-involved enough, then she never conceives of the possibility that she could ever be replaced, that he could move on. In her mind, she is the only one that exists for him, which is why for so many women, they're able to mistreat their boyfriends to take them for granted because they're operating under the false belief that this man has no other options. Well, you know the saying, fuck around and find out? Let's have a look at what happens when a woman does push too far and she doesn't like the consequences. I know that I I broke up with him. I get it. I really do. But he didn't even fight for me. Yeah, it's been two days. He didn't even call me. Fascinating, isn't it? The mind of a woman is such an interesting place. She <laughs> dumps him, but in her mind, she's the victim. Even though she ended things, he has no right to move on. How dare he not call me? It's been two days. In the minds of these women, men are not really meant to exist as independent entities. They only exist as an extension in relation to the women of themselves. And what's most frightening of all is that this expectation continues even after she has ended things with him. He's still obligated to chase her. As you guys have done my course have seen in those brutal stories, women have a habit of overestimating their value in the dating market. They think that- And, you know, this is factual and, and I just kind of want to talk about the fact that like, why is that? Well, look at how everything's changed, even in Hollywood movies, you know, women are told that they're something great straight away, even in, in real life, you know, boys, young boys would tell them you've got to work hard, you've got to work to be something. Girls, it's just like, no, you have this intrinsic value straight away. You know, girls are put on a pedestal right from the moment that we're born. Um, and we're never really told that we have to live up to anything. And that's why you get a lot of these entitled women that, you know, as we've seen, think they're tens when they're not tens. And we can't all be tens, guys. If we're all tens, there are no tens. They're really desirable, really high quality because they're getting so much male attention. Check out this TikTok video of this woman dancing because look at how many men are messaging her. And you guys who have subscribed to my channel, you've seen the Tinder experiments that I've run showing how many matches women get. Does this mean that women are amazing because so many men want them? No. 
It means men are horny. But if a woman mistakes all of this sexual attention as meaning that her boyfriend is easily replaced, then she's going to take him for granted. She's going to play stupid games. She's going to pretend to break up with him, you know, dump him just to see how he reacts if he fights for her. Not realizing that he isn't just an extension of her and that at any time he can decide that he is sick of this bullshit and just move on and find a different girl. But there is a very important... I think that's a big problem that we see is that a lot of men actually indulge in these games that women play, um, whether they're aware of it or not. But like a lot of women will use this tactic of like, oh, I want to break up, da, 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 da. And it's like they don't want to break up. They just want to see if you will fight for them. It's a it's a game they play. And it's the, the same kind of thing of like, why are women attracted to toxic men? I say it so many times, but why do women love documentaries about serial killers? You know, because there's a, there's a thrill there and that's what it is. That's what she's chasing. That's what she's trying to create. She wants that from you. Don't indulge, don't give it to her because it just tells you where she's at and that's a red flag. Important reason why women cannot comprehend this occurring. It's because it goes against the feminine narrative that her life is always improving. It's always getting better. This has come up a lot in my Hey Hero request recently, so I need to explain this in detail. So few men understand how women think on this issue. When a girl is a teenager, she's dating some loser guy that barely makes her happy. But by the time that she graduates from high school, she's exposed to so many more men and so she dumps the high school boyfriend for a more sophisticated guy. Her life is getting better, she's trading up. It always feels as though life is improving because as she gets older and into her early and mid twenties, she begins to learn more about herself and her preferences and how she should be treated and so she dumps that guy for a better guy and then for a better guy and she keeps branch swinging on and on and on. She probably has about 10 years of doing this from her mid teens to her mid twenties. It feels like dating and relationships are always getting better. Life is always improving. She's getting better and better quality boyfriend. But women need to realize that that does not last. The reason why she's able to monkey branch and keep finding better boyfriends and leveling up is because she's young and hot, but that doesn't last. For a while, you've been able to continue to upgrade your boyfriends and it's always been an improvement, but that's because you're young and attractive. But at some point, your looks are going to fade and you are delusional if you think that automatically your next boyfriend is always going to be better. She's breaking up with her boyfriend. <gasps> okay, quick backstory. He is, he's a good guy. He's nice and all, but he just ain't it. Many women who dump a man, even though he's nice, are doing so because they think that they can do better. And that's what stings for all of the women out there who discover that their ex has moved on, has found a new woman because it breaks the narrative. They think that they can't do better. They think the man can't do any better, but they can. He's not meant to find happiness with another woman. No, he exists as part of her story. Yeah. And in her story, he is the loser chump that she dumped to get something better. She left him behind. She moved on to better things. He was just a stepping stone stone for her, a branch that she swung from in order to get to the better prize. Except she never got her prize. There was no better man waiting for her. Now she looks back at some of those options that she's discarded and finds that those men are happy in new relationships with women who love and appreciate him. It breaks their brain. No, this, this can't be real. This doesn't make sense. You were meant to exist for me, the only explanation is that men are trash. Yeah, yeah, that's it. M men are terrible. Otherwise, I would need to confront the fact that they were good men and that I'm not as high quality as I thought I was. I took them for granted. I had something good, but I got greedy. I wanted more. I overestimated my value in the dating market, but now that I'm older, I see that nobody wants me. God, I've fucked up here. The best option that I had has moved on to another woman. Oh God, life doesn't keep getting better for women. I was just young and hot, but now I see that all my options are disappearing. All right, I need to make a change. I need to start thinking about what I bring to a relationship. Yeah, uh, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll be mature. I'll find a good man with good values. I'll grow up. I'll stop being so lazy and entitled. Tomorrow, I'm going to make a real change. Nah, just kidding. Men are <laughs> trash. If no man wants me now that I'm old and bitter, I'll just complain about them on social media. Every person, man and woman, needs an exit plan from the dating market. 
The dating market sucks. It's a cesspool. It's a nightmare. The purpose is to find a high quality person that you can spend your life with and then to get out. So men, how do you know when it's the right time for you to exit the dating market? Maybe you're also in a leveling up strategy, always thinking that the next girl might be better than the previous one. How do you know when it's the right time for you to stop branch swinging and actually try and make it work with the girl that you're with? I give the answer to that question in the full version of this video, which is available on my Patreon. What you see here on Patreon, all these videos, these are just the shortened, condensed, uh, abridged versions. If you want access to the extended version of the video, come over to Patreon. Well, facts as always, can't really deny anything that he said. I liked his little bit that he did where it was like the woman was doing her self-reflection and she was learning and she was going to make a positive change. Mm, psych, men are trash. Yeah, unfortunately that is the actual reality that we live in. The willful ignorance of women is at an all-time high. The willful, they don't want to be mature. They don't really want to improve their lives or at least they pretend like they don't know what could improve their lives. They just don't want to take accountability for their own actions and that's the state of it. What did you think? Why don't you let me know in the comments below? As always, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up on your way out. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with everything I'm doing. Head over to Playlist. I've got a few different things going on there. I also have much more to come. So stay tuned and I will see you very, very soon. <laughs>